Hey guys, welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. This is Naveen here. So guys, uh, today I'm going to cover one important Java interview question that uh, can we overload a main method? Yes or no? Yes, we can do that. We can overload a main method. And uh, how can we overload with the same name and same number of parameters or different number of parameters, sorry. And uh, if we run the specific method, how to execute them, which method will be uh, will be called by the JVM, all such stuff. So these are the basic interview questions and very famous interview question these days that can we overload a main method or not? So let's do that. So let me create a package over here and uh, in this particular package, let's see my package name is uh, test main. Click on finish and I'm going to create a class in this particular package let's see my pack class name is uh, test main concept okay or let's see test main test base something like this and I'm going to select this main method click on finish and this is the main method I have right in this particular main method let's see I'm printing system dot dot print ln I'm printing main method and uh, now what I'm going to overload okay I'm going to overload this particular main method the concept here is guys what do you mean by method overloading first method overloading means in a particular class when we have number different number of methods with the same name and different number of arguments or different type of arguments right so this is called method overloading so let's see I have a uh, method t1 and I have method uh, t2 having a uh, int parameter let's see int a right and having another method that is same thing t2 let's see three method t2 t2 and uh, I have int a comma int b like this so this is called method overloading having the same method name t2 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 zero parameter one parameter and two parameters is this t2 method is overloaded method right but can we overload a main method it means main method means this is the same method name and different number of parameters so yes we can do that but if you try to duplicate methods are not allowed first of all what do you mean by duplicate same method name and same number of arguments it's not allowed so this is a string args this is a string uh, uh you know array variable but instead of string array variable i can write some different value let's see i can write int a now the error is gone this means having the same method name main and main but different parameter this is a string args that is your array parameter a string array and this is your normal integer parameter let's see i'll define one more method over here sorry int a comma int b again this is main method is overloaded one more time i can define one more parameter uh, one more method like this let's see only a string a or let's see a string args right so this is a string args so this is main method main method having the same method name but this is the array parameter and this is a normal string parameter right and all the method names are same so this is called method overloading and this main method is getting overloaded now right so this is possible but if you run this program what will happen if you run this program jvm will try to search this particular signature the public static void main string args okay jvm will try to search that okay the exact signature of the main method is there or not so jvm will try to search the main method with this parameter string a r g s and this method should be public and static and void so if you find jvm if jvm doesn't find this particular method okay main method okay jvm will not execute your program java virtual machine will not execute your program so jvm will try to immediately will try to uh, search that where exactly your main method with having public static void and a string array parameter so the moment it finds immediately this particular method will be called so now if you run this program now see the output the moment you run this program 
you will see only main method is getting called only this particular method is getting called so let's see this is main method number one main method number two main method number three main method number four so if you see if you run it again only first method is getting called main method why because jbm will try to figure it out okay public static void main string args array parameter is there or not then only okay only that particular main method will be called so how will you call these methods this main method so this main method we have to call inside this actual main method so how to call this particular let's say second method i want to call and this is a static so i can call it directly right so let's say string arg is i'm passing um let's see i'm passing something like this testing right so i'm calling main testing so what exactly it will happen first it will print main method one then it will check okay main having the one string parameter where exactly it is it will jump over here okay it will jump over here and then it will call main test okay so if you run this program now now see main method 2 is getting called right similarly i want to call let's see the third method now so i'll call like this main and i'm passing 10 right so the third method will be called now main method 3 same thing if i want to call the fourth method i have to pass two parameters 10 comma 20 some two integer parameters i have to pass and then fourth method will be called so if you run it main method 4 is getting called so explicitly you have to call these methods guys inside the actual main method this is the actual main method this is applicable for jbm jbm will not look into these methods jbm first will see where exactly was where exactly your main method having the same pattern the signature okay the pattern should remain same the string args okay with public static void main okay string args with array if you write a string args without array it will not be considered by jvm okay so that's why this is called method overloading with main method main method can be overloaded right now let's see one more scenario i give you let's see i create two classes i create one class that is called class a having the main method right and uh, inside this class let's see i'm writing printing system dot system dot out dot print ln a main method a class main method something like this let's see i'm printing okay and uh, now i'm going to create one more class that is class b having the main method click on finish simple system dot out of print ln i'm printing b main method right so i have class a having the main method and i have one class b having the main method okay now from class a can i call b class main method okay yes we can call why because b class main method is publicly defined and this is a static in nature so definitely I can call, but how can I call? <clears throat> so if you run this A class, simple A main method will be called. Now, if you want to call the main method, which is available in class B, how can I call? Okay, because this is a static main method and static methods can be called by a class name. Okay, from a different class. So I'll simply write B dot main. Okay, B dot main and let's say I'm passing some argument okay some argument 10 or uh, let's see i'm passing the same argument args because that is an array variable so same argument args will be passed and this main method this args will be get and then this particular method will be called <coughs> this it will print b main method <coughs> okay so let's run it now see first it's calling a main method then it is going to b main method it is going from here to here and then it's calling b main method similarly from class b can i call b main a main method main method which is available in class b yes i can call same way a dot main right a dot main now what will happen if you execute class a now see it carefully this is a famous famous interview question if i execute class a first it will check main method is there or not with args array fine it is there it will come over here it will print a main method then b dot main it will come over here it will print b main method then again it will call a dot main again it will come over here it will print a main method again it will call b dot main it will come over here it will print b main method and again it will call a main so 
now the controller is shifting from a to b b to a a to b b to a right so infinite time it will be executed now see if i'm going to call a dot java see you can see infinite time it got executed and after that program immediately got terminated after okay after printing so many methods and see this is called a stack overflow that uh, okay because memory is full now and uh, <clears throat> so many a to b b to a main method getting called like this a to b then again b to a a to b b to a like this so this is a very famous indication that okay can we call main method from a different class yes we can call because main method is a stack main method is a static in nature and inside a class i can call like this b dot main right so if you comment this line <coughs> and if you run this see right a main and b dot main it will come over here and then it will print b main method simple so main method can be overloaded guys okay but jvm will always look for this particular signature okay and we cannot have the same method name same number of parameter with the exact signature this is a this is called duplicate methods are not allowed you have you can have the same method name main 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 four method having the same method name but different parameters a string array parameter a string normal parameter integer a integer a comma integer b this is also possible okay so this is called method overloading concept and obviously uh, method main method can be overloaded yes main method can be overloaded but jvm will look only and only for first time if this particular main method is not there if i comment this particular <coughs> entire main method the actual main method nothing will happen <coughs> okay sorry it's still executing from here let, let me execute this plus because see now it's not giving any run as java compiler application also java application is not showing why because i have commented the entire main method sorry earlier it was executing this okay from a dot java b dot java if you try to execute test base dot java i am not getting any run as java application why because compiler okay won't be able to find you should have this particular main method then only it will show you that option so if you uncomment again if you run it now see java application is available and then if you see all the methods are getting called like that. Okay, so this is a very basic interview question, but very famous. Don't be confused. Can we overload a main method? Yes, of course we can overload the main method. JBM will look for only for this particular. We cannot, uh, uh, you know, create a duplicate. A two main, two actual main methods is not allowed. Okay, in the same class, obviously. So that's all for today. If you really like this video, guys, uh, please like it, share it with your friends and uh, let me know if you have any issues. You can write your queries in the comment section and uh, please subscribe to the channel. My channel name is Tabin Automation Labs and uh, feel free to ask if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching, guys.